welcome to Winwood Community College Veterinary Assisting Program. This is a two semester program designed to train uh, people to learn how to perform different tasks in the veterinary clinic. You guys graciously brought in a lot of urine, which was very nice. So right now, all the students are performing a urinalysis. This is a common test done in veterinary clinics, and it's used to look for urinary tract infections and determine kidney function. So this program takes two semesters to complete, and when they're completed, they will have a veterinary assisting certificate. So they divide the program up into what I would consider three groups. First one is anatomy and physiology. Second one is laboratory techniques, where you learn what they're doing in, in a clinic, in the back, behind the doors where you get, can't go, the tests and procedures. Third is the internship, where they send you to those clinics and you get to see it and you get to even participate on a small level. Well, I'm taking this class right now because I'm trying to better myself as a vet tech, but my real long-term goal is to become a veterinarian, get into vet school. I knew I wanted to work with animals, but I didn't know about any programs. I thought they were all in the mainland, but then I heard about this new program that just started, and so I signed up as soon as I could because otherwise I would have had to move to the mainland for a while to be able to work with animals this way. What I liked about the program was there are nice small classes, we got a lot of individual attention, there was a lot of hands-on, and a lot of individual help. So if there's something you didn't understand, you could grab the teacher and get it explained to you really easily. Sometimes at different hospitals, you guys might have to get a T, P, and R, which is temperature, pulse, and respirations. Do you guys know how to take that, or shall we learn today? The internship part of this program is the best part. It gets you hands-on experience at different clinics, and you go and you spend a number of weeks working there, getting to know the clinic, getting to know what, how it works and what is to be done. And through that, I got my job. Next we're going to do just an oral exam to see if he's got any baby teeth left because um, when they're learning how to restrain animals, it's one thing to read it through the textbook and say you need to hold them at their pelvis area and then gently hold their muzzle, but it's a whole other thing when you've got a live breathing Labrador Retriever in your arms and you're holding their hips and you're trying to shut the mouth while the doctor does their exam. So the internships give the students the opportunity to take the academics, put it into real life situations, and then find out how that works for them or what needs to be adjusted. While we recognize we need more effective paraprofessionals for our team, we realize that we no longer will be keeping people at minimum wage. I think all the members of our profession are ready and willing to pay trained assistants who are willing to stick around more in the $15 to $20 per hour range, perhaps more. Uh, a really experienced paraprofessional could potentially earn six figures. At first I just wanted to major in zoology. Like I just kind of was looking at classes to take for the next semester and I saw animal science and I was just like, what? Went to my counselor, got the scoop, registered that day. And then now I'm kind of just like, I'll go be a vet. <laughs> because that, now that I've had the hands-on experience, I actually like the surgery and the, that kind of stuff. Veterinary assistants and veterinary technicians, as being a part of the veterinary team, uh, need to recognize that we not only treat pets. Veterinarians do many things for our community. We also are involved with food animals, uh, public health issues, uh, biosafety, including bioterrorism issues. Uh, many of us work for the government, uh, both state and federal. So there are many job opportunities out there, not just private practice. So if you would like to become a veterinary assistant or technician, uh, please click on the link at right, or you can contact us at Windward Community College Office of Admissions.